hi there, my name is Love and Snake Plays, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to build a redstone computer. Okay, we are now in the A world. Now, this world is going to be the world where I'm going to be showing you how to build a computer. It's going to be pretty similar to this computer here. Now, the basic functions of this computer, basically, you have a fictional plug where you plug in, then it goes to this, in a way, command center. And you can ha you have like a secret door, and I know the combination to this. I'll tell you how to make one of these too. And then in here, all of this is dependent on the that plug over there is turned on. So if I go in here, I can then lock the doors. I can also switch off the lights. Now again, I think me aside from the lights, all of this these controls is dependent on that. Oh, and that over there is the battery and the fuse center. I'll explain how to do that in a sec. So what I can do is I can shut off the power. I'm not going to do that. These two, they're complicated. But all these control bits on that. So if I switch off the tree. That tree over there is one out. Now I'll show you how this works. Master circle breaker breaks if there was anything. It turns it off. And currently there isn't anything. So nothing happens. But if I... Let's turn on the tree and random few things that I forget the name of. Nothing could happen. However, if I switch off the circuit breaker, all they, go, oh, they should have all gone. There we go. And what this says is this pretty much tells us are oh, we going to take our power to power the screen from the battery or the mains in case the battery hasn't charged. So if I switch that to here, nothing will happen aside from that. Just yeah, you're going to be influence. But if I shut off the power, which tells, which stops charge of the battery, nothing. But if I tell it to get power from the mains, yeah, there we go. Now, just so you know, everything on the bottom that's an indicator of how hard the battery is. Oh, another cool feature: if you switch, if you break it, it's now shut. Yeah, and then that just turns the lights off. And if you listen closely, every time I click one of these, I'm wrong, but. Yeah, here a piston. Yeah, this is how it actually works. Yep. So this is how that locking mechanism works. And I'll show you. How, and besides, we're gonna build one of these. So yeah, let's get started. So first of all, we need a blank space. Okay, now I've got a blank space, pretty far away. Well, first thing I'd like to do is build a socket like that one. And basically, it's pretty simple. And you have to, you can get some black wool. I place two things there. In a way, they're like prongs, you know, like in this an electrical socket. The way you may build your electrical socket may vary. But now we're going to build the cord. Plug it in, I think I'm going to do it. Yeah, there we go. So now it's too. Yeah, I'm going to do this, but then it's going to come down. Now, in Minecraft, there's no such thing as earth wires or the return wire, so pretty much. In real life, if let's say this is a battery that's inputting a signal, first we have to hit the positive wire and you drag it out. Then you connect to your source like this. But then, not in real life, you also have to get a return wire that goes back to here. In Minecraft, that doesn't happen. So luckily for us, it means we don't have to worry about threading two wires through the socket. We just have to do one. That's just for show. So I'm just going to drag them both in for no reason. So I'm just going to drag it out quite a bit. So once again, your style may vary, but we should have something along the lines of a socket with a switch and then a plug head leading into a wire. Okay, so now that you've finished that wire and make sure to put computers in between, we're going to get started on the command center in a way. So pretty much you start off with putting your I haven't built one of these in so long, but there's no real way to do it. First of all, you have one piston here. What it does is when actually, on. so let's say you have a command center here. Here we go. Here we go. So this is the floor of the command center right here. So the TV or really the screen is going to be facing here. And it's going to be looking that way. The command, all the command center does is it takes power from the mains, either stops it there or, or sends it on its way. We'll then go to the battery, be charged up, 
and then all the other switches that tell parts of the screen to turn on, they will tell the fuse box over here, or have when I build it, if there is power from the battery or the mains, use it to power the items on the screen. That's basically how it works. Basically, when this is turned on, there should be power. When that turned off, it breaks it. Alright, there you go, one of those. Then what we're going to do is we're going to build a bit of the command center. Because some of it's a lot decorative, because wait, if I stripped it down to just functional quotes, maybe just a floor stand on, it'll be pretty simple, but I'm putting, I'm making it look nice, because I'm just totally going to do it. Put a floor in here, I should have used world edit, but never mind now. <coughs> so then we're going to build a one block high background thingy. Alright, so I've just finished building the basic structure. I've done quite a lot of work. So, starting inside, I have a bunch of switches. They don't do anything yet. Then we have two switches that have a sign that say this one would lock the doors that if I ever build them, and the other one would turn on the lights. And I just put a bunch of quartz in here, and then I put some light about super lights up here. Finished up this, put some glass in here. Like that. Then over here, the only bit of vegetation I put in is that these lights function independently. Here, take it switch one off. These, this is going to be the command chain. So this, so you have to get this type of combination right if you have, if you want to get in. So now I'm going to build a basic piston door. All right. So now I have to make these meet up. All right. So I made a very basic system. If from which, if I place a lever, then I place it. There we go. Shut and open. Now instead of having it run by a lever, we're going to have it run. So first of all, we need power for the mains, but if there's power from the mains, use it to open the store. The way we're going to do that, and I'm going to show you, actually no, I'm not going to, is first of all I'm going to shift this out of the way because it's where the levers are, so I'm going to... Alright, so I just finished shifting all that. I also finished digging this thing. Alright, so now what we're going to do, we're going to get a torch. There we go. Basically it works, there's a torch here, and then below that, there's a redstone dust. So basically, here's how it's going to work. We get power from the mains, or this. I guess I'm going to take a look from this, take it around here. And then those eight levers, we're going to control a series of pistons that either connect or break further a circuit. Ah, uh, it's not going to be like that, it's going to be more like... Yeah, there we go. With holes for pistons. Yeah, there we go. And then if that finally con connects, then we're going to take that finally out the power. I'm going to put a few repeaters in here. Then, then what that's going to do is that's going to deactivate this vegetable torch. And if I just connect all this temporarily. Actually, I'm going to do it with blocks to show you what I'm going to mean. The faint thing I hit pistons. So basically, if I go into here and shut off the power, the door shut. That's how it's going to work. So now what we're going to do is we're going to connect a piston. So, first of all, because there's no real harm in showing you the code, I'm going to make a random code. I'm going to have these three on and that. Alright. That's our code. So we need, um, let's see, two pistons that need to be extended for it to work, and the other six need to not be active. We're going to place a lot of pistons. I'm also going to place these and then wire them up, so I'll see you then. The way you do your wiring may vary, but this is what I did. It could be a lot cleaner. It just takes the source from each torch to a torch, and then takes it to a piston. So if just one redstone torch isn't right, the door will shut. So right now, all the pistons are aligned, and the redstone signal to open the doors is going through. However, if just one switch is not in the right position, then the piston will break the circuit, I guess it's done here, and the redstone will not be activated. And with this done, we can cover it up. 
One thing I almost forgot to do is power the redstone lights on top of the control area. So we'll just go ahead and do that right now. And now with that fixed, we can go ahead and actually cover the entire thing in quartz. And there, the control area is now a single cube. This is actually the end of this video. This is going to be a two-part series. We just finished the control area, which is part one. And in the second video, we'll work on making a screen and the battery and fuse box. It might even be a three-part series. We'll see. Well, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!